All right, today we have another Agent Venom list here, guys. This is C4, actually. So, of course, we use Cerebro in this deck along with Agent Venom. Agent Venom is a 2-4 on reveal. Set the power of all cards in your deck to 4. So, once we have that off on the field and Cerebro, ongoing, your highest power cards have plus 2. They will all be 6 power, which is pretty decent. Of course, we have things like Shang-Chi and Iron Man in here as well for some additional tech. Doubling our power. Claw as well for additional power. And Sarah for some really final, a really fun turn 6s here. The whole list is Forge, Mr. Sinister, Agent Venom, Mysterio, Cerebro, Mystique, Brood, Shang-Chi, Absorbing Man, Iron Man, Claw, and Sarah. Looks like a really fun list, guys. Looks pretty consistent. C3 was really good, so let's see what C4 does. As always, guys, decklist is down below in the description. Check out my channel for more Marvel Snap decklists. Let's get right into it and see what we can do today. Alright, nice. We see Cerebro and Mystique. It's a really good combo of cards to have in our hand here. Crown City is the first location, just past turn one. Alright, plays down a Space Stone. Okay, so we are playing against Thanos, so we're up here. Second location here is going to be Lemuria. No cards will be revealed this turn. What do we draw? Nothing we can play anyway, so we'll just pass the turn. Alright, turn three. Kind of awkward here. Thunderbolt's Tower. Oh, nice, we usually Agent Venom, so we are going to play that. I was going to say, I don't really want to play, you know, my, my Brood right now. Black Swan, Jeff, and Time Stone going down for him. Agent Venom. Turn three is not too bad to play that card. Nice 2-4 Mr. Sinister is decent. Of course, we don't want to reveal the Cerebro Mystique plan until turn six if possible, so let's drop Mr. Sinister on Crown City. All right, let's see what he's got. Psylocke going down on Thunderbolt's Tower and Soulstone. Mr. Sinister going to win us Crown City. Nice. Giving us four power at the other locations. Turn five here. Let's see. So we do draw Forge, but it's really a debate right now between Iron Man and Claw. I feel like Claw in this location is kind of like going to be a nuts play. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Claw going down onto Lemuria. Reality Stone. Okay, so he is changing the location. That was his plan. Strange Academy. Oof, that's going to clog his other lanes actually for him. That was not good unless he has Galactus. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, of course, that just clogs his lanes over there. That's not very good for him. Uh, you know, depending on what he has, I guess. Final turn here. We're going to snap because I'm, this looks pretty good for us. I don't think it matters where we actually play these. We've got to get Cerebro down. Drop the Mystique to copy the Cerebro ability. And, uh, yeah, I think we're going to be golden. Oh, he's going to retreat. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. <laughs> GG's. Nice. We love seeing Agent Venom in our opening hand. That's fantastic. Daily Bugle. Breaking news. Giving us a Psylocke. All right, we're going to pass turn one. All right. No turn one for our opponent as well. Second location here is Asteroid M. Pretty annoying, but we can Agent Venom and uh, potentially brood that just to kind of fill the location for us. We'll see. Let's drop Agent Venom, though, for now. Nice. We love playing that on turn two. Of course, kind of sucks that Brood didn't get, didn't get hit by it. He plays that Psylocke we got in our hand. Turn three. He gets the extra energy, and the location is going to be Cloning Vats. Okay, this is actually pretty interesting. Yeah, I think here we do want to drop the uh, Mr. Sinister there. The 2-4 Mr. Sinister, making you know another copy of itself, of course, and giving us another Mr. Sinister, Sinister to our hand is pretty good. He plays Agent Venom. Okay, so I assume it's the one he got from, yeah, Daily Bugle. Plays down Ravona. So I wonder if that actually helped him or was it more of a negative. Seeing Absorbing Man means we can actually copy the ability without um, clogging the location right now. Um, and we still have another Mr. Sinister. So I think here, yeah, we'll drop Absorbing Man here and it'll actually um, move the original one to Asteroid M, which is fine. Didn't want to clog my hand with Cloning Vats either because we are still looking for Cerebro, of course. Although this is giving us some pretty good power across our lanes. Pretty happy with this. Sage going down. Only going to be a 2 power. Agent Venom going down. Okay, again. <laughs> That's the Cloning Vats copy. And we draw Forge. Uh, I think Forge and then Brood here is probably a pretty good play. And the original Brood will move over here, meaning the location will not be clogged either. And it gets it to 4 power. Good for Cerebro. We're going to snap here and pass turn 5. Oh, he's going to retreat there, of course. Yeah, that was going to be some pretty consistent power across every lane. All right, nice. Agent Venom opening hand here, and we see Cerebro and Shang-Chi. Pretty decent hand. And Sarah, nice. Baxter building is the first location. Second location here is Onslaught Citadel. That can be good if we get Sarah there, or honestly, even Cerebro. For now, of course, let's drop Agent Venom. Earlier we dropped that, the better. Agent Venom going down. 
on Baxter building is good too. Ebony Maw could be a War Machine deck. I haven't actually seen these decks around that much lately. Chimichanga, eh. It could be decent to give to Cerebro, I guess, if we just want our Cerebro to have some extra power. He is going to snap here. I think we want to save Mr. Sinister in case we see Forge. So I think we'll just play Cerebro and Chimichanga, sure. All right, Cerebro going down. That double uh, bonus there is pretty good. Chimichanga going down on that Cerebro as well. Unfortunately, we can't Mystique combo. There's Storm. And he gives the Chimichanga to Storm, okay. All right, turn four. We do see Forge, that's good. And it's four power, which is fun. So I think we're gonna Forge and Mr. Sinister here. All right, he plays nothing. Uh, Forge going down and Mr. Sinister. So we'll have to see if he has War Machine. I, I imagine with this play style right now, it looks like he, I mean, he would have had, he would have played it if he had it. So I'm assuming he didn't have it right there. This turn's kind of interesting. I don't think we want to play Sarah. I think we'd rather just play Claw here and then decide if we need to Iron Man or Shang-Chi next turn. I will also snap here. <laughs> Claw would be 32 power in the mid location. And of course, 12 there on Baxter building. With Iron Man going down, that would go up to 36. And yeah, our opponent's gonna I think he's sort of afk but regardless, we had a real good setup going there at this game. All right, Sinister, Brood, not two of the best cards you want to see in your opening hand. Project Pegasus, though, gives us a chance to actually play some of these cards now, which is kind of interesting. And we see Forge, which is really good. So you know what, let's Forge and Brood. That is probably the best play at the moment. All right, let's see what we've got. Hulkbuster going down onto nothing, and then Craven, Forge, Going to buff that Brood to a 4, exactly what we want in our C4 deck here. Turn 2, second location going to be Adelan. Okay, I actually like that because we kind of do want to shuffle this hand up. Don't want to play Mysterio to clog this mid location at the moment. Although I guess I could just drop the Mysterio there, the real one, so it'll be, you know, we'll have all of our 4s there. Sure, why not? Alright, turn 2, what's he got? Human Torch going down for him. Mysterio. And turn three here. Let's see what we draw before Adelan shuffles our hand into our deck. Sinister and Mystique. It's kind of unfortunate because we can't play either on Crimson Cosmos. I don't really want to clog my left lane right now with Mr. Sinister, so I'm just going to pass the turn. All right, what's he got? Iron Fist going down. And now Adelan will shuffle our hand into our deck. All right, we see Agent Venom and Cerebro, which is good. Again, don't really want to clog this lane over here. And it kind of sucks if we get Mystique, we can't play it over there either. However, we could play Iron Man over there, things like that. So uh, I think at this point, we'll just drop Agent Venom over here in the left lane, even though it seems kind of risky. All right, Doctor Strange. Gonna pull his Craven and Hulkbuster. Let's see what he, what he played here, though. The Craven got buffed, of course. Fantastic. Oh, it moves it over, so it didn't clog the location. Fair. And multiple man going down. I don't know if that's the order he wanted that, but we'll see. Agent Venom going down, and we do see Iron Man, which is good. So I think here, we just want to play Iron Man over here on this location. Of course, it'll get buffed by Cerebro as well. I don't want to spoil that I have the Cerebro yet, so yeah, we'll just do that. He did snap. Nakia going down for him. Not the strongest lane there. Iron Man going to make that an 8 power at the moment. Of course, Cerebro will actually buff that, making it 12 power, which is decent. Or, we can just choose to Mystique and copy the Iron Man. Because playing Cerebro here... Let's see, Cerebro wins us this lane, buffs this lane, doesn't do anything for this lane though. If I play the Mystique now and copy the Iron Man, we're already winning these two lanes and then we'll win this one. We'll have to end up contesting both of these lanes. I think we're gonna try this way. I think we're gonna just go with the Mystique actually. Let's snap and end the turn. Oh, he's gonna retreat off that. You know, honestly guys, Mystique has been an MVP card for me lately. In, the, in yesterday's video or the, my last Agent Venom video, we also saw Mystique being uh, very strong. This deck, guys, is not super consistent, honestly, and a lot of people actually run Nocturne. I don't have Nocturne, that's why I sort of slotted in Shang-Chi there as a tech card. Of course, if you're missing any cards, you can sort of just add in your own options. People are still exploring the C4 list here. I have seen a few going online, but this list here, it was pretty decent. It's all about knowing when to retreat with this deck, honestly. It's pretty consistent as far as spreading out power across all three lanes. It just doesn't go very tall, unfortunately, which can be pretty bad against certain decks in the meta right now, like Hela and even certain Zoo decks. Thanks for watching. As always, check out my channel for more, more Marvel Snap deck lists. I'll see you all tomorrow. Good luck in your games and have a good one.